What's up, you guys? It's your boy Elijah, and I'm back with another video for you guys, man. Today, we got a new video. Man, I ain't seen nobody do it on YouTube, bro. So I'm gonna be showing y'all what you should upgrade first on a slasher because I've been seeing a lot more slashers in the park ever since the Relentless Finisher patch, bro. That's all I've been seeing, really. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's what's up, bro. Slasher gang in the building, bro. You know what I'm saying? 97 slasher right here now. I told y'all before, bro. 2K hasn't patched me, man. I haven't been reset. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I don't get reset. Hopefully, you don't buy a snitch on me or something. But yeah, so I'm gonna be showing y'all what to upgrade first and what order and what not to upgrade. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to the video. Oh, yeah, I got another thing. If you got a slasher, really ain't no point of making a shot creator, bro. Look, I done did a mistake, bro. I fucked around, made a slot creator, put 40, almost 50,000 VC on this nigga, bro. Cause I was so bored, bro. I'm like, damn, bro, I don't got no other characters. I had a playmaker. I'm like, yo, I ain't finna play with no fucking playmaker. I got a glass cleaner, too. I could have just put all the VC on the glass cleaner, had him be like 80 overall. But nope, I had to make a whole new shot creator, put all the VC on that nigga. That nigga is 70-some overall now. And I don't even play with that nigga. Ain't even no point because my, my slasher is like a shot creator, you know what I'm saying? If y'all seen my videos and shit, my demigod builds and shit. If y'all want a slasher build, I already made two slasher builds, so go check them out, bro. I might make some more in the future if I change up my build, because I'm starting to uh, switch it up a little bit. But let's go ahead and get into what the fuck uh, the video is about. What to upgrade first, and what you shouldn't upgrade. So these are all my attributes, right? Number one thing for any character I build because I go to the park you need defense, right? I put about 2,000 to 3,000 uh, VC in the uh, into my defending right and once I do that, you know, what I'm saying whatever build I have so this this is my slash so I'm gonna go off on my slasher, right? You go upgrade your uh, dunking and layups, obviously, because you a slasher. That's what your that's your main thing you're supposed to be doing in the park. So I upgrade my dunking and layups, right? Put put that about halfway. I I like to keep my agility and my uh main ability to uh, about level, right? So I I upgrade my dunking, I got a few a uh, few notches, two three notches. I upgrade my agility, two three notches. I try to keep them level at the same at the same amount because you need your agility, bro. You need your speed. So I try to max them two out first, right? But then after that, I upgraded my strength, my strength because strength it pretty much help you out. You know what I'm saying? Help you post up, help you dunk on people. You know what I'm saying? It's strength is strength, right? So it's gonna help you out, bro. You need your strength for a slasher, bro. If you try to dunk on people, you need strength. Honestly, you you can't not have strength. For me. Doing doing three point shots and shit. Cause look, look at this. When I go to upgrade, well, I, I don't even think you can see it because I can't upgrade shit. But look, my open shot three is at 41. If you upgrade this max to the max, this is about a 60. A 60 over a 60 overall three point shot is a D in a grading system at school, right? And a D don't fucking count, bro. That shit, that shit's lame, bro. Ain't no point of, of wasting. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. It looks like six. Six slots of, of attributes you could be putting into something else, bro. That's a waste. I shouldn't even put the one in there, man. I was doing it so I can get my overall up a little bit. You know, when I first started upgrading my dude, which was dumb of me. You know what I'm saying? I make mistakes all the time uh, when I'm upgrading my new dudes and shit. But yeah, I'm trying to help y'all out. Don't I, if, don't upgrade the three-point shooting. Y'all see y'all y'all be y'all seen me shoot threes. You know what I'm saying all the time. I got a new video coming out tomorrow, which it should be when I when y'all be showing y'all me shooting three-point shots standing, right, making them bitches green lights and shit, bro. You don't need to upgrade this. It, you it, honestly, it won't even help you. It's it's not even it's not even relevant, bro. Don't even upgrade three-point shot. Don't worry about that shit. After you get, after you've got your agility and layups and strength up, your your defending is still at about two thousand to three thousand VC into your defending. All right. If you want, if you don't really care about your shooting, you go ahead and upgrade your playmaking. I put my, I would put my play, put my playmaking about halfway. Get that up about halfway. You know what I'm saying? Then, I would go ahead and start upgrading my shot off dribble. Get that about halfway. 
then I would uh, switch over to my mid-range, put about 2,000 or 3,000 VC into that as well. Because mid-range, you know what I'm saying, it's easy. If, I don't really uh, shoot, I didn't really shoot uh, mid-ranges that much. Uh, I just always try to drive to the paint or did a shot, a shot, a close shot, did layups and shit. And if it's a close shot, obviously it's going to go in, you know, 50% of the time, most of the time. Or even more than 50% of the time. Because it's a close shot, if you open, you, it's going to go in, obviously. Unless your dude's like ass or something, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't really speak on that for y'all. But yeah, so I would put about 50, uh, upgrade my playmaking 50%. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want to start doing dribbling moves and shit, getting elite dribble moves, you got to have, have to, it has to be max. So I will max it out if you guys want to be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I will start upgrading my mid-range. I've upgraded that all the way to the max. Uh, but before I upgrade it to the max, I, I like to max out my shot shooting off dribble first because that's the more, that's what I use mostly to be as like a shot creator. It's like a, it's like a shot creator slasher hybrid. All right. So once you got your shot off dribble max, you can go ahead, max out your mid-range. And then your shooting is, is good, bro. You don't need to upgrade the, your, your three-point shooting. It's a waste of time, bro. It's just a waste of attributes that can go into something else. I mean, if you want to, you can go ahead and do that shit. But but once everything's maxed out, you got your playmaking, your defending. I upgrade my defending last, bro. Like I said, I put 2,000, 3,000 VC into my defending. And I start upgrading it at the end once I got all my shit right. Right? So it's my I upgrade my defending to the max. Then you got post scoring, three point shooting, and rebounding. If you a six three slasher, you might as well go ahead upgrade your fucking three point shooting or your post scoring. Ain't no point in upgrading your rebounding. You know what I'm saying? You can. I don't. You def defend the def do what y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? But if you shorter than most of the people in the park, ain't no point of upgrading your uh, rebounding. I guess there is a, a somewhat to a degree, but if they taller than you, most of the time they're gonna be getting the board over you. Right, but if you want to get your box out, upgrade it and shit. But I don't really feel a need to upgrade your box out if you short. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to box out a center and then the center's tall, and you just grab the board over your fucking head or whatever. But for me, since I'm a six eight, I like to upgrade my rebound and I like to get the more boards. You know what I'm saying? Get the board, run down the court, dunk on somebody. You know what I'm saying? One man fast break type shit. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't want to do that shit, you can go ahead and upgrade your post scoring and your three point shooting, but which I don't recommend. You know what I'm saying? It's all recommended. I'll, 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 for like, look at this. My post scoring is at 50 overall. There's no point in having 50 overall. It's less than that's an F in school, right? There's no point of that shit. So I, sh I wish I could go back and and sell them bitches, bro, and put them into my rebounding. You know what I'm saying? But I can't. I fucked up. I'm trying to help y'all out. So yeah, once that, that, pretty much that's 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 how I upgrade my slasher to be. The best, you know what I'm saying? If this video helped y'all out at all, bro, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. But all that out the way, man, it's your boy Elijah. And I thank you guys so much, bro. We on the road to 1K, bro. We should be, if we, if we, pro, we're projected to hit that shit, you know, within the next couple weeks, bro. Which I thank you guys so much. Today is Sunday, so tomorrow I will be dropping that, uh, that uh giveaway winner so if you guys want man you gotta go ahead and go enter that giveaway all you gotta do is be subscribed and uh like my giveaway video so go ahead and go back to my 700 subscriber giveaway and go check that out uh yeah so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video but yeah it's your boy elijah i'm out peace